big breaking developments surrounding zero experience Hunter Biden. As we are now learning, the current White House Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, apparently reached out to Hunter Biden back in September 2012 for help in raising 20 grand for the Vice President's Residence Foundation, telling Hunter, keep this uh, low, low key, apparently concerned about bad PR. And that's not all, because according to Miranda Devine, a witness who testified uh, before the Hunter Biden grand jury was asked to identify who's the big guy in Hunter's deal with the Chinese energy company. Now, remember, according to Hunter Biden's former business partner, Tony Bobolinsky, the big guy, that would be Joe Biden. We reached out to the White House for comment. Jen Psaki is yet to circle back. What a shock. Here for Reaction, New York Post columnist, Fox News contributor Miranda Devine, former U.S. attorney Brett Tolman. Uh, Miranda, you know more about this than anybody. The laptop from hell, a best-selling book that you wrote. So we know that the big guy is Joe. We know Hunter whined in emails about having to pay his father's bills. We know because we have pictures that when Joe Biden told the nation that he had never had any uh, knowledge of, of Hunter's foreign business dealings, that's not true, but because we have pictures of Joe, Hunter, and some of his foreign business partners. Uh, now with this grand jury asking that question about Joe Biden, does that mean that he's implicated? Well, he certainly is involved. I think all the evidence points to that. And it's really unusual that you have Ron Klain, the president's chief of staff, coming out on Sunday and saying um, that, you know, the president has full confidence uh, that his son has done nothing wrong. And anyway, it has absolutely nothing to do with Joe Biden. And what Ron Klain really should have said, uh, if he wanted to, to stop the story uh, for now, was to say that, well, look, there's an ongoing investigation in Delaware and we will just let justice take its course. Uh, he didn't say that, which is peculiar. And then we had uh, today, Jen Psaki was asked by Peter Ducey if uh, the president still stood by his claim that he knew nothing about um, Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings. And she said yes. Uh, we had another White House spokesman a few days ago um, answer uh, another question uh, when she was asked, um, does the president still stand by his statement in that last debate against Donald Trump that his son Hunter never received any money from China? Uh, and the answer was yes. But, I mean, as Ron Grasley and Ron Johnson have, uh, sorry, Chuck Grasley and Ron Johnson have been showing us every day for the past few days in the Senate. They're, they're putting up the receipts, the money that has been shown by the Treasury Department, by banks uh, lodging these suspicious activity reports. You can see the money trail. Millions of dollars going into the bank accounts of Hunter Biden and his business partners. Uh, so it's just not feasible to continue to hold this line. And, and as I look at this and I, I take my take, what's your take? Uh, on, uh, Miranda, more specifically, is this evidence that could get somebody arrested in your view? Look, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that. We, all we know is that the Delaware grand jury is looking into Hunter Biden for um, alleged tax evasion, money laundering and violation of foreign lobbying rules. These are all criminal offences if proven. And there's a lot of evidence. And, you know, the fact that we have the grand jury asking uh, witnesses um, and showing them exhibits and then asking them to identify who is the big guy, that tells you that they're pulling on those strings. And uh, as I know, having spent so many months uh, exploring the laptop, uh, Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop, when you start pulling those strings, at the end of them is Joe Biden. After right. all, this is an influence peddling scheme around the world and the product they were and selling is Joe Biden and Joe Biden... Yeah. Uh, let, let me go to U.S. Attorney. Who Brett, knows? Brett, let me ask you. I mean, you, you're watching this unfold. If I was the Bidens, I'd be really uncomfortable. And I think questions, ethical questions about any dealings with China, Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan impact Joe Biden. Your take. Sean, this is not complex uh, crime that this evidence is starting to amount to. This is a scheme and a a, a 
conspiracy among family members to leverage Joe Biden's political positions to bring in money and then divvy out uh, uh, the proceeds. Uh, grand juries, federal grand juries across this country are indicting individuals in conspiracies of money laundering and racketeering with far less evidence than what is uh, what is starting to unfold from this laptop, from Bob Alinsky and from others. James Biden, Joe Biden, Jill Biden, Hunter, they all should have search warrants that have been executed, domestic search warrants. FISA yeah. warrants should already have been issued to understand the connections with China. This is one in which a prosecutor have, walks into the grand jury with the utmost confidence with this kind of evidence. I got a roll. Thank you, 